Hey YouTube, this is Dave and welcome to part 6 of our QNAP TS469 Pro. In today's video, we'll be covering Download Station. Download Station is a package that you can download from the App Center. If you go under Downloads and you pretty much click here and you hit Install and you install the Download Station. It's an app or a package that is in your QNAP. Now what Download Station does is it allows you to download files and what they do is they pretty much show up in your downloads folder. You could download things using the uh, iOS and Android app and they will show up on your QNAP in your downloads folder. Now Download Station supports uh, BitTorrents, private trackers, magnet links, HTTP, HTTPS, and FTP and FTPS. There are some things in this video that I'm going to be showing you that may weigh your decision on which NAS storage unit to buy in regards to downloading torrents and files and things like that. But let's first go into Download Station and I'll show you what it can do. And I'll show you around the UI and then you make your decision on what you plan on doing with it. So basically in uh, BT search if you click here you have these torrent sites now it covers vector kick-ass torrents mini Nova pirate Bay extra torrent torrent reactor and BT dig and that is all unfortunately according to the support email that I got from QNAP that this is not Putting in a private torrent site like Torrent Day, that's what I use. It's an invite only, and you have to have a username and password. And in order for you to be able to download from there, you're out of luck. Basically, when you go to these torrent sites, you get a torrent file like this one here, and you drag it in to download station, and unfortunately, it stays at 0%. This is terrible uh, in, in regards to having your own private torrent site uh, that requires a username and password. Now what I'm going to show you next uh, is settings because settings is a way to configure your QNAP. So basically I have a proxy here and I'm trying to set it up with torrent day and you can't do it. It's not supported. If you go to BT search that's basically just the settings panel. So what good is download station if you can't download torrents from your own sites. And when you download torrents from these sites, it takes extremely long in order for you to get that torrent downloaded. I just quit doing it and I just ended up using uTorrent on my desktop. And I was able to put in these torrent files, these torrent files right into here and they download no problem. Um, that is something that is a feature that should be improved on this download station. Now, if you just wanted to use download station with these, that's fine. It's kind of slow. It's probably because it's going over the network, uh, your Wi-Fi network, and going into your downloads folder. And unfortunately, uh, that's not something that's quick. So let me show you around a little bit more. You get all these statuses of any BitTorrent that you try to download and then RSS feeds work but unfortunately if it's from your private torrent site you can't download them even if you have the RSS feed set up and you try to drag something or double click to open it to download it to your downloads folder you can't do it now if you're content with just using these torrent sites then buy a QNAP if you want to download from a, uh, torrent day then maybe a Synology is the way to go because there's uh, another video that I have that I discovered their download station and then you were able to put plugins in and configure hosts and things like that so let's continue and I'll show you uh, around settings now in settings there's a global uh, you can set up tasks and you could set up notifications in your email you have to set it up in settings uh, you know put your email and username then there's HTTP, and they're just basically just talking about bandwidth and connection. There's FTP, same thing, connection and bandwidth. And then the BT uh, 
connection uh, open on the, in ports on your router. And then there's seeding. Uh, this talks about seeding. And then there's proxy, which is useless. And then you agree to use BitTorrent Search. This file hosting. Unfortunately, I try to put a torrent day in, and it doesn't work. Maybe there's ones that you don't require a password, and then you'll be able to use it. And like I said, RSS feeds, you can have it update at particular times. So let's go search a torrent, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. First, I downloaded this torrent from Torrent Day. And basically, it'll tell you to go to your downloads folder, and I want to show the torrents. And I click, and it shows me what I'll be downloading from Torrent Day, and I hit apply. And it says it's processing. So once it starts to process, we'll see that the downloading indicator from Torrent Day is zero. It doesn't go anywhere. Let's search from these sites that they give you. Uh, let's type in Robocop here. And we'll hit enter. And basically, like I said, it's only going to search the sites that tell you. Uh, the first bunch are useless because it doesn't even tell you what it's called. Now here we have Robocop, okay? Now is this the old Robocop, the new Robocop? I have no idea. But if you had the torrent file, you can drag it in there uh, from Pirate Bay, say for instance. You could drag it in there and it'll probably work. But let's download something. We're going to download something small here. I have no idea what it is, but I'm going to click it. And Robocop has been added. So now we go into all and we see here that it's waiting. Now these are this top one here is from these sites and the bottom one is from Torrent Day, your private torrent uh, website. So we're waiting and we're waiting. And by the way, if I was to use uTorrent on my desktop installed app, uh, you know, it would start right away. Matter of fact, let's do it. I'm going to show you the speed of it uh, so that we... Oh, it's already in my thing, so we have to find a different one. Uh, let's go and find... Let's get rid of Robocop here. Uh, we'll remove it, and then we'll throw it back in again, and let's see how fast. So it tells you where it's coming from, and now it's going to start down. It's already 15, 25, 35, and look, we look on here, and it hasn't even started yet. Um, but... What are you going to do? This is how it works. So basically, the download station is only for downloading files. Like say you had a document and you wanted to throw it from your iPhone into the downloads folder. Go right ahead. You can use that. Now, there's other things like QGET. Now, you can go and get QGET. And QGET is just a web version of the download station. And basically, you throw it in there, but like I said, the rules still apply. You can't use a private torrent site. You can download uh, different files from your computer or from your phone and then throw it in, and it'll go in your download station. So uh, when you're buying a NAS, if you're a big user of torrents, we're still waiting for that download. Let's be fair and try to find one that is not... Uh, doesn't have that has a lot of cedars and let's see if that works okay so we're gonna get rid of this uh, Robocop here and we'll search Robocop again to be fair we'll search Robocop again and we're gonna find one that has tons and tons of peers all right so here's tons and tons of peers there's four four to five hundred peers here and uh, then there's seeds and there's a lot so this should fairly go fairly quick so we'll just hit that, and now we'll go back into all, and we'll see how fast it takes for you to get your download. Now remember, I'm using uTorrent on the desktop, and we already downloaded it. It's done. Uh, you know, I, I can't stress enough how slow download station is on a QNAP. Now you may say, wait a minute, there's other ways to download torrents on a QNAP. You could use Transmission, but Transmission is a web-based app. So basically, you have to go in and you have to enable all these things. So basically, you have to go down here to configure, and you have to click that, and it will open up some sort of terminal kind of thing. And you have to put, like, your username and your password, and you have to deal with all these things. You have to, like, find the line that says 
You know, what am I going to use and blah, blah, blah. You know what? Good luck with that. And you can enable all these unpack features so that it downloads. And then when you set this up, it's basically going to set up a, um, a folder inside your downloads folder that says transmission and it'll have uh, incomplete, complete and watch. And like I said, if you want to go ahead and use a web based uh, feature, then put it on your Mac and use transmission there. There's nothing better than an app that's on a computer. So that's what the alternative is. I don't usually badmouth, uh, you know, people in videos or, or companies in videos, but this is something that's important to me. And if it's important to you, I hope this video helps you. So anyway, this has been Dave. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to get back to you. Have a nice day, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.